right, we got the DD5 V3. John Hickok here. We're gonna be taking a look at this very nice Dana Defense AR-10. As it says, the DD5 is the V3, so it's the one with the 16 inch barrel. Got the Magpul 25 round magazine. Jurgicon AccuPower, one to four. Uh, optic on there with the Midwest Industries quick release um, uh, mount. So everyone always points out that I put on backwards, but hey, you know, it's cool. Hats are cooler backwards, maybe scope mounts are too. I just like, I feel like I can, uh, I just prefer the controls be on this side. So that's why I set it up that way. All right, so we're gonna take a look at this thing today. Sweet rifle, of course. So all right, here we go. So the defense, uh, really nice AR-10. Uh, it's considered to be one of the better ones that, that uh, they're made. There's a, a lot of different ones. It's very expensive. You know, you're looking at, you know, 3000 three or four thousand dollars for these things um you know they're considered to be a very strong design they're they're heavy they're very heavy i don't know the exact weight i didn't look that up you know you guys can look up all those kind of specs but just from my personal opinion just know that it's heavy and i'm a big guy i'm six eight it's it's a very very heavy rifle um, for what it is but of course the daniel defense design here you've got these four bolts here you know, that lock in the barrel and the uh, the handguard, you know, which of course is M-lock there. You know, makes for a very uh, rigid and accurate design. You know, I've only got the 16 inch barrel, of course, so you're not gonna necessarily take maybe full advantage of the uh, 308 round, uh, but you know, you're still gonna obviously see some pretty good velocity, velocity out of this thing. And now the scope too, or just really quickly, you know, the video's not about that, but just cause you guys are gonna ask me about it. This is the AccuPower, so that's the it's the one that takes batteries. It does not have the um, you know the whatever the radioactive stuff in it, the tritium. You know, um, it does take batteries, which will run out, so you can't just leave it on. But the reticle is basically just kind of your typical X, and then the um, center of it uh, lights up red. You get like a little red X, and you got these different little things here where you can dial in the different uh, brightnesses. But then there's an on-off in between each brightness setting, which is which is pretty nice because you know figure out what you like and then you can go on and off from there. So somebody was smart when they thought of that. Um, what else you got? Of course, Ambi uh, charging handle here, which is you know pretty standard. A lot of these higher end rifles. Um, something that's not as standard though is having the bolt release over here on the uh, right side. So that is Ambi. Also, mag release is Ambi. It came with ambi safety selector, but I removed it because I hate those. Uh, I don't like the, you know, as you see there, it's not much space, they dig into my hand. Even the short ones, you know, they have the little stubby ones, you know, to try to take care of that problem. But, you know, those have always, I don't know, it, it, bo it bothers me, I, you know. Sure, maybe if I got shot in the arm and I have to transition to left-handed, I'm not gonna be able to operate it or, you know, there's always, there's a reason for those, I understand, but, I feel like for my needs, it's not worth the annoyance um, of it. So I usually take it off. Polymer dust cover, I know that's kind of controversial. A lot of people don't like that. But, you know, as we've been repeatedly shown over the last 20 years or so, a polymer is pretty tough. It holds up. So, you know, it doesn't give you that classic AR look, of course. But, you know, I mean, I, I would assume it's a little bit lighter than the alloy ones and probably more durable to be honest so Daniel Defense you know they're a, a pretty well respected you know maker of these of AR-15s and uh, type rifles so they definitely they know what they're doing got a nice muzzle brake on there uh, it's pretty effective you got the Daniel Defense proprietary furniture that they do you know the grip is pretty nice you got it, it's not of course one of the 90 degree angle ones but it's a little bit closer to that I would say than kind of your standard old school like A2 grip and everything like that um, pretty nice adjustable stock I don't love the latch I don't know why something about the way it's designed it always makes me want to grab it right there and I forget you gotta pull up like that um, but it's fine I mean that's that's nitpicky honestly and then got the little rubber texture on there which is pretty cool also it has this little do that up here where you can adjust the gas system uh, 
to go from suppressor or you know S for suppressor or silencer, depending how nerdy you want to get on the classification, uh, or uh, standard. So I've got it on standard, of course, right now. So we don't have a suppressor, so check that out. Let's fire it some more. All right, we got some more federal ammo. Take a few shots. I was shooting, uh, I realized on these early shots I was taking, I was shooting low on that. That's a, of course, a common problem with ARs that you have to be aware of because you've got the higher line of sight, of course. All right. Again, very heavy. I mean, it's just, I mean, it's a, it's a chunk of a rifle. Big old heavy barrel on this thing. Uh, we'll take it apart and uh, I'll kind of show you the bolts and, and there's some interesting things about that. I'll show you in a minute. Okay. Did I put one in there? I believe I did. It feels like I did. All right, let's take out this watermelon right here up close. Oh, that shot low again. You know, it's aiming high. This is a one to four power Trigicon scope. I'm going to bring it up to two. Let's get a little illumination there. All right. Uh, two X is a pretty good magnification for that range. I mean, we're talking about. Yeah, what was it, 70 yards, something like that. Yeah, I can't see where I'm going on that small one. I'm gonna try the uh, the right one, the one on the far right. Yeah, I can't see where they're going at all. Let's see, let me try the big one again. I'm gonna zoom in further, go up to 4X, see if maybe I can tell where I'm hitting. All right, let's try the far right one again. Okay, it might be going left. Scope could be off. Yeah, really hard to tell. Yeah, I think it is going left. All right. As you see, I'm already getting tired of holding this thing up. It's so heavy. Such a heavy rifle. That's a big disadvantage of... of an AR-10 in general, and especially this one. This one is an especially heavy one from the ones I've picked up. Okay, I'm just gonna hold on the right. Yep, yep it's going left. So I'm not gonna try to get the sight on in the video. I was afraid maybe the scope was a little bit off since last time I fired this thing. All right, um, I'm gonna take this apart and show you guys the bolt. Then we'll put in a, brought a mag, a mag full of uh, tracers right here. Take out some of those watermelons and such. All right, now I probably should have done this before it wasn't so hot. Huh, yeah, the bolt's not too bad. Okay, so this uh, bolt has a special DLC coating, as they call it. That does not stand for downloadable content, you video game nerds out there. It is uh, stands for diamond-like carbon, and it's incredibly smooth. It's pretty bizarre, like how how slick that is. I mean, it's just unreal, very slick. Um, you've got this little buffer here in the back. It adds weight to the bolt, it's supposed to help with the recoil, which 
I guess maybe it does, but I mean, this rifle is so heavy, it's never something I would expect to recoil very much. You have a, especially, I mean, 308, it's powerful, but it's not anything crazy. Um, you've got this captured um, retainer pin for the uh, firing pin, which some people like, but it's kind of annoying to me because it wants to, it's not doing it as much, I guess, now because it's dirty, but it kind of wants to fall out uh, on its own when you're kind of messing around with the bolt and then the firing pin, right, just falls out like that. I don't necessarily like that. I know that there's, sometimes the retainer pins can get screwed up or whatever, but such a cheap, tiny little part. I mean, you could have 10 of them spare and not even know you have them, you know. So to me, that seems like a, a fix to a non-issue, but I don't know, it could be wrong on that. But um, very nice slick bolt. Uh, we got two ejectors there. Uh, just, you know, typical AR-10 bolt. Everything is jumbo sized. Pretty cool. All right, throw this back in there. Load up this mag of tracers. Okay. So yeah, we got a mag of just Lake City tracers here. I'm gonna start out and uh, take care of these uh, watermelons here, and then we're gonna try over on the other hill again. Back on one X. All right. Let's see if I saved a few. Okay. Shoot the big plate. Cause I'm having trouble hitting the other one. Okay, I'm going to try the other ones again. I'm going to try the one on the far right. <laughs> yeah, I was aiming on the right side of the target to hit it, so. All right, hopefully that looks cool. We've got 25 left. Let's take out some of these bowling pins here. And this is such a cool... Cool feature. This is something I would like to see on more ARs where you can just do that with the right finger. It's handy. Okay. I'm going to try for the uh, second from the left steel plate there. Okay, I'm going to try the little bitty one. Man, this is a heavy rifle. Get it? Maybe it's swinging. I might have just hit the post. I'm gonna try the slightly bigger one on that same little set. Got it. Okay, let's go to the far right. Yeah, it's am amazing how well it shoots when you put your sights in the right spot. Okay, big target. It's a good workout. That's one thing, for me at least, uh, that's one thing that not everyone 
it's important to think about with an AR-10, of course it's awesome to have an, an AR, AR-15, M16, chambered in 308. Everyone knows that was, of course, the original caliber that it was chambered in, the AR-10. That's why it's AR-10, the AR-15. Um, but it's just a, a heavier gun. You know, you've got just so much more steel in this thing, um, you know, than you do in, in the standard 5.56. AR, so it's it's a big trade-off. I mean, obviously you got the benefit of the of the bigger round, but much heavier gun, and then of course packing the ammo is a lot a lot heavier. It's nice having you know these 25 round mags are great, so you're not really sacrificing a whole lot capacity-wise, 25 versus 30, um, but you are sacrificing a lot on weight. Um, but still, very cool rifle. It does, I think, what it's supposed to do. Uh, well, especially when the scope is sighted in, that's always good. <laughs> Make sure you do that, especially before uh, doing a video in front of a bunch of people. It's probably important. Uh, but, you know, there we go. The Daniel Defense DD5 V3. Hope you guys enjoyed that. See you next time. Oh, yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh, hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Italian Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it, uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to Im improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at TalonGunGrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.